it's your favorite piano teacher, Miss Cece, and welcome back to Miss Cece's Classroom, where we learn about the piano, play the piano, and listen to the piano. So y'all, we are finally in August. The summer is over. We are transitioning back into the fall. The kids are going back to school, and my summer was a decent one. So for the last week of July, I had the great opportunity of attending the National Conference on Keyboard Pedagogy, or NCKP. National conference it is biannual meaning that is it is every two years and basically all the piano teachers pianists pedagogues we all come to Lombard Illinois it's a suburb right out of right outside of Chicago and it is like a week long well it's the conference is like three four days but I was there for a week and you have seminars lectures conferences I met so many people y'all really really inspired me in a way that I needed I've had a great first half of my year I'm not going to negate the good work that I have done because all of that good work led to me going to NCKP I ended up winning a colleague grant to go to NCKP and I was uh it was just meant to be while I was there I had the opportunity to market Fancy Fingers Publishing we, we create introductory materials that introduce young musicians to African-American composers at my own table I was in the entrepreneurs corner and we'll get into more of that and, you know when I was at NCKP I met Dr. William Chapman Yaho he is a popular Ghanaian American a pianist I met Dr. Artina McCain I met Dr. Leah Claiborne these were basically my type of celebrities and I met so many other people and it was oh uh, it was such a great week I already miss it but I hope you guys enjoy this vlog of my time spent at NCKP and I really hope it inspires you whether you are a pianist pedagog whatever to go to NCKP for, for yourself in 2025 without further chit chat I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog of my time spent in Chicago and end at NCKP. Until the next time we see each other, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and go practice. Bye. Okay, so I'm on my way to Chicago. Well, to my flight. Um, this is the first day of my trip. NCKP conference is not until Wednesday, but I'm heading out to Chicago today to get set up and to do some more things for Fancy Fingers. That's my stuff right there. Okay. And I'm nervous, anxious, but I'm excited. So, here goes nothing. Time I finally landed. I slept the whole plane ride. <laughs> I'm in my rental. So now we on our way to the hotel at this point. I've arrived, been sitting in my car, looking like I've been traveling. I'm hungry. I'm supposed to be checking in at 10 a.m. And it was like, I was gonna go to a breakfast spot but I just want to look at the room like I just want to look at that bed I just want to look at it so I'm a, the plan is is that I'm gonna check in I should I should go get me a coffee that's what I should do I'm gonna go check in freshen up go get me something to eat and then I gotta run around and do a couple of things to get ready for um Oh, I'm, I'm just kind of... I got to go around and get some things to prepare for the conference. I'm so excited for this conference. It don't start till Wednesday, so I'm going to meet up with a classmate of mine and some friends of mine. And then we're just going to kind of fill in the day in between that. So, I'm looking forward. I'm here. And I'm ready. Yeah. Oh my God, I need to freshen up. Bye. No longer ashy, looking very good. Oh, why does it look like that? But there we go. All right, so first things first, I'm going to get something to eat. I'll try to show y'all my room at a certain point because I had to take a shower, do my nails, do my style, my hair, pick out something to wear, put my clothes up. Get I like to get situated when I first get to my hotel room. I'm about to go to the yard house. I want something good i do want to sit down but i want something kind of local because um i'm not gonna meet my uh girlfriend until tomorrow because she's i'm more than likely sure she's like in the city of chicago and uh, i just left from there i look so good but yeah time to roll all right so we're doing a espresso martini so let's see Mm -hmm. Hell yeah. 
in the bed at 7.23 p.m. I keep underestimating. <clears throat> I underestimate how important time is and the effects of traveling and sleep and how all these natural things can coincide and just give you such a hard time. I've been trying to do things since I got here and it's like <laughs> I did a few things you know I'm just I'm not gonna take this time for granted I don't want to take I'm not going to take this opportunity for granted but for me to I, I didn't really get no sleep I messed around and decided to watch uh they clone Tyrone um naturally I did not go to sleep until it went out because that movie was good I was exhausted when I could not start watching that movie, but I'm getting sidetracked. And then I went to bed. I know for a fact around 1 30. <laughs> I set my alarm for 3 30. I only had two hours of sleep. <laughs> I always do that. And it's crazy. Like, I had two hours of sleep because I decided to pack. <laughs> decided to pack my clothes the night before I've always done that I don't know why when I think I'm trying to break the habit I'm really not when I was asleep my flight what leaves at 720 I am an airport dad so <laughs> if the three hour rule that's normal though that's pretty normal the three hour rule is that whatever the time it leaves, that's when I need to be there at the latest, okay? So, 7.20, I got there around 4.30, 4, yeah, 4.30-ish, yeah. Got through, did what I need to do, had chilled out for about an hour. I was dead asleep on the plane. I ain't never been to sleep so fast on the plane. I immediately went to sleep. I felt like I was in a big cradle. You know that moment right before it takes off and, you, and my stomach jumps down? <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it. Right when that happened, it was like somebody swung me in the cradle. I slept the whole way. The whole way I did not wake up until I heard that bing. I had to get I had to get my rental car. Did that. Drove in Chicago for the first time. That was interesting. <laughs> and after I picked up the rental car, then I made my way to the hotel. I hadn't eaten anything since the previous night. These garlic shrimp noodles from Yara House. It was good. It was good. I really enjoyed it. My waiter told me I would. And after that, I just... I came back accidentally went to sleep. <laughs> went accidentally to sleep. I like, And this is how you know it was. I was in all my clothes. I woke up. You know, accidental sleeps can be painful. I woke up realizing like I called myself. Kind of just... Da, da, da. Child fell asleep. Woke up. Had a little spurt of energy. I, I am trying to make this a fun trip and a work trip too soon. <laughs> I bet I wake up super early. Let's see if I do. Good night. Day two in Chicago. Well, really Lombard, but I'm going into the city today. I'm trying to link up with my high school friend and my two other girlfriends get something eat to eat show you guys my outfit hold on let's sir let's sir let's sir let's sir let's sir yeah 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 babo no for real <laughs> but yeah this is me in my mess of a room but uh, i'm looking good i'm looking great feeling good feeling great gonna have a great tuesday but that's it for now. So I'll see y'all later. Okay. The way I am navigating this driving in Chicago, I am proud of myself. <laughs> but anyway, I'm parked in this parking deck, about to meet my friend up here wishbone give me a nice little coffee i haven't eaten anything so i hope they got some good food i am starving but yeah we'll see where the day takes us
video or it was on the TikTok. Okay. Time in my life. Okay. Tell me your name one more time. Oh, one more time. Okay, something quickly. You want to hear the, the most quickest virtuoso playing part of Paganini part 34. The quickest one. Look at this. Paganini. For Ginny's Book of Records. Yes. Once we're at lake level, and we'll continue on the tour from there. So like I said, I'm going to hop off the mic, put on some music for you guys. Enjoy the view. Enjoy the machinery. Wow. I am so oily. <laughs> uh, it has been a day. Let me freshen this up because I'm looking much better. So, still in the West Loop. And I'm about to meet up with Rochelle and Toya for some pizza i am hungry now i don't worked up a sweat my skin this makeup held up good though considering i've been outside basically since noon i've just had a great day i really have for this to be day two i've had a great day two days down and four more days to go three four more days to go so i'm excited uh -huh.